select the cell and then from menu if you select data and then from the ribbon if we select data validation you can see from the settings tab uh, from the allow drop down list the option we want to choose is text length and then under data you have the logical operators we're going to stick to between this gives us a minimum and maximum parameters to enter so minimum I will set as 1 and maximum I will set as 3 and select OK and just to say guys if you're enjoying this video please subscribe and keeps you updated with new content thank you so what we need to do now is to see if our data validation works but the first thing we need to do is to copy down that formula or that data validation so it is copied across to our other cells in our small table so if I use Excel's autofill function and just copy down that data validation now if I try and enter Homer as his first full name let's see what happens you can see we get a you have entered invalid data message so that's just telling us that it's not correct so I'll just enter HOM first three characters and that text is accepted now this is because it is within those parameters that we set in our data validation bye bye